A Dover grandmother lost her home Christmas morning. A driver suffering a medical episode smashed into 82-year-old Dorothy Usury's home. But tonight, she's getting help from people she does not even know. News Channel 8's Candace McCowan is in Dover. She's on Morse Lake Road where it happened. Tell us more, Candace. Yeah, good evening, Stacy. Family tells us that this home will be torn down Monday. It's been condemned. They spent their entire Christmas holiday trying to clean it out, but they weren't alone. It's the simple things that many take for granted, like walls that Dorothy Ussery wishes she had. But when this car crashed into her home of 46 years, leaving it in shambles, she's been at a loss. But when you see your stuff all, your house all bare to the world, it's kind of very, very traumatizing. But she hasn't been alone. Since her story got out Christmas Day, volunteers have been coming by to help her move her stuff out. Another man, whose name she doesn't know, brought her Christmas dinner. I said, I didn't know you was going to be good for me. And he said, I told you I was, and I did. That, that was very endearing. It really was. It touched me very deeply. Still, she has nowhere to live. That woman is... <laughs> an insanely strong woman, but she's lost too much and I don't want this to be the breaker. Many, like Tracy Sanders, who don't even know Dorothy, have been impacted by her story. I was thinking just how blessed I felt after such a wonderful day yesterday, and then I saw Dorothy's story and it just really touched me. Sanders has taken it upon herself to get word out about Dorothy's tragedy, sharing her fundraising page on social media. I can rally some of my friends and family to get behind you know, Dorothy's cause and help her out. Dorothy, who doesn't have insurance, is homeless, but she tells me the support leaves her heart full. It's been really remarkable. Yeah, and Dorothy's family has set up a GoFundMe page to help raise money for her to rebuild. I've looked and watched this afternoon, and the donations have almost tripled since earlier this afternoon. And Stacey, uh, we put a link to that GoFundMe page on WFLA.com. And we Stacey. talked about the driver of that car, Candace, that it was a medical episode of some sort. Do we know the condition and if she's facing charges? Yeah, we've heard officially from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office that she will not be charged. We understand she suffered some pretty serious injuries. She's still in the hospital where she is expected to recover. Stacy, Truly an accident. Candace McCallum yes. live in Dover tonight. Thank you.